I think this is. Yeah. Two years ago, Apex Legends came out of nowhere, and now 100 million players and 17 legends later, it just <sighs> keeps getting bigger. We've got more modes, more maps, more platforms for play, and of course, more legends. So what's next for Apex? Well, today we have answers. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Apex Legends Emergence. I'll turn up the audio just a little bit. Change. I see it in everything. I see it in a boy rocked by tragedy. Mirage. Transform his pain and defy reality. I see it in the warrior who must choose between their new life and Bloodhound. the of their home. I see it in a girl, tortured by revenge, embrace hope when love awakens her heart. I see it in me, a boy born under a bad woman, turn his tail into a legend. Hmm. Change is relentless, but that does not mean it cannot be beautiful. This is insane. God, I want to know what he does so bad. He just blew Fuse away. Nothing lasts forever. You must adapt. Surrender. And embrace your true nature. I love how the new legend always whips everyone's ass. Oh yeah, it's that third my LMG, bro. Okay, there's the ult. doing it seems like they're like immobilizing them wow <laughs> i'm standing here like slack jawed watching this because there's so much to unpack from that trailer so let's go ahead and meet the man with all the answers apex game director chad please tell Grier. us what does he so do here, chad. thanks austin happy to be here uh before we get started and get into it i want to give a shout out to the amazing developers at respawn Hey. All right, well, a subset of them. Uh, if you love Apex, it's because of these amazing developers that are working hard uh, creating Apex Legends for us. <laughs> well, big love to the whole Respawn team, especially whoever came up with Lifeline, because that's my girl. But OK, there's a lot for us to talk about. But you know I'm geeked about Seer. So can you tell us some more about his abilities? I saw this man stare through walls. He's got drones coming out of his chest. Please tell me about his kit. Yeah, similar to Bloodhound, Seer is all about tracking enemies but in a different way and has a very unique kit. So while you're aiming down the sights, you'll have a heartbeat sensor that will give you hints as to where an enemy might be. If you think hmm. you've located them, you can use your tactical, which sends out some of those drones out of your chest and will actually reveal and track the enemy's location. The ultimate is really powerful, especially in certain gameplay situations. You can send out hundreds of micro drones and create a sphere 
around an area that you choose, and all enemies that are moving quickly through that space are tracked. I love when there's new I abilities see, that he's like a change the game. Better this bloodhound. Game obviously, is always changing, always evolving. I mean, that's there's a pretty legend, broken, there's but an interesting shift in the meta. So hmm. with those incredible abilities, how do you think that Seer is going to change the game? Yeah, again, I mentioned Bloodhound also as a tracker, um, but unlike Bloodhound, Seer is about very precise and lingering information. So he's a bit more of a stealth-oriented legend, and you're going to see, I think, some interactions because of that sphere I mentioned, his ultimate. If you're moving quickly through that space, your footsteps are revealed. Ah. Uh, but now if you're walking slowly, you can avoid the, the detection, and so I think you'll see some interesting gameplay experiences and new ways to play. It feels like oh, tracker. It down a bit. Yeah, it sounds like once the ring gets tight, especially, you're going to have a lot of new ways to play this game. Um, but this past season, for instance, it felt like Apex really moved beyond Battle Royale with the introduction of arenas. So what's the reaction been like for you guys? The fan reaction has been really great. Uh, we're seeing a lot of players enjoy arenas, which is, which is awesome. We're really excited to finally have a way to play Apex Legends beyond Battle Royale. And uh, yeah, people are loving it. So we've got new maps in the works and uh, some other things come in I don't want to you know, talk about just yet, but we've got a lot planned for arenas. All right, fair, fair. Well, I do know that you guys announced ranked arenas are coming as well. So can you give us some information on that? Yep, so we've got one season of arenas under our belts now. We wanted to make sure that uh, we were seeing how players were adapting to the mode. Make sure Arena's fun, balance, but right? I don't know how well, sure the, the how much I'd play it for ranked. And now we'll be introducing the ranked mode in Emergence. So it's a bit of a different ranked system than we have in, in the Battle Royale mode. So we're really excited for you to get your hands on it. Well, it's yeah. really cool to see Apex always doing new things. Like, for instance, uh, leaning into the competitive scene with things like the Apex Legends Global Series. So are we going to see more of the ALGS? Absolutely. We just ended year one of ALGS. Our championships recently concluded, and it was amazing. There's, like, so many tactics and amazing plays in there. Many teams were fighting for the championship in the last round. We hit record numbers, so we're really excited in September to be kicking off year two of the LGS. And for the first time, we're going to be inviting PlayStation and Xbox players hmm. to compete alongside the PC players, really see who's best. And alongside. So um, we have more information yeah. at apex.com. I don't know about that. Well, I'm beyond looking forward to it. And Chad, before you go, I have to ask, when can we see more from Seer? We've got an awesome gameplay trailer coming on Monday, and Emergence okay. drops on August 3rd. And for now, I can show you a finisher. Of course, please, <laughs> please. This game demands so much of us. But from you, she demands... <laughs> Oh my god, that was clean. Yeah, that's, that's all I need to see. It's just, it's so awesome. But Chad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Austin. Of course, of course. And again, big shout out to the whole Respawn team. Now for the Apex fans watching us on Twitch today, Respawn is hooking you up with an exclusive Jumpmaster gun charm, so make sure you've got your Twitch and EA account linked and keep watching the show to earn that drop. But that's not the only thing we're giving out today. Keep an eye out for the hidden letters that spell out a secret phrase because at the end of the show, we'll give you a link where you can enter that code for your chance to win some great prizes, including codes for EA originals like Knockout City and It Takes Two. Don't really care about this. So speaking of originals, let's head across the ocean for some stop motion and check that's out the soon-to-be-released EA original, Lost in Random. Yep. Damn. Okay, well... That was pretty dope. We know that he officially has a heartbeat sensor. It's not he can hear heartbeats, but he has one whenever he's aimed down sight, though. His tactical is basically a bloodhound scan, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. Uh, and his ultimate is... Like, I don't know if everyone is going to be able to see that, like, or is it just him? That'd be pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm excited about him. I can't wait to play him. I'm going to try to be playing him day one for sure, as well as everyone else. But yeah, that's it.
So if you enjoyed the video and you found any of this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And if you are excited as playing Seer as I am, go ahead and drop a like. He's going to be insane. It's going to be so fun playing him. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.